follow me by the way I made these by myself what do you think I think I did a pretty good job on them oh, not only are these DIYs really fun really cute but they're also pretty cheap I got all of my supplies from AC more guys I'm super super impressed with my DIY skills because I'm absolutely in love with this hat so I'll be showing you how to make a hat like this two shirts that are tie-dyed as well as a pair of sneakers so I think these are totally totally cute for summer and they add a lot of color to my wardrobe especially because it's summer and I really like big color in the summer because I usually wear a lot of blacks and darks dark colors and I'm just super excited for this video so let's just hop right into it so for the DIY tie-dye shirts, you will need obviously some plain white shirts as well as scissors if you'd like to make them into different cuts of shirts. I actually cut one of my shirts into a muscle tank as well as some tie-dye kits which I got from AC Moore. So first you're just going to lay out your shirt and I'm going to be making kind of the swirl tie-dye but you can make whatever kind you want. You can look this up and figure out how and which way to tie in rubber band at different places. So I'm just grabbing the center, swirling it, like twirling it, I guess. And then I'm putting some rubber bands around it to keep it in place. So now you're just going to follow the directions on your tie-dye kit. So mine actually told me that I had to saturate my t-shirt with water for a little bit. Like just make it damp because the dye would take in better. And so that's what I did. And it might be different for your dye kit, but I'm just going to take blue, pink, and green, and then just start putting them in different sections on the shirt, making sure that they are next to a color that will kind of blend pretty well. So this is the second method of tie-dyeing that I really like to do, and I accidentally got a blue spot on this t-shirt because I really only wanted pink, but that's okay. So what I'm just going to do is start scrunching, crinkling, whatever you want to call it, up my t-shirt that I cut into a muscle tank, and then you're just going to start spreading your dye on top of it. And since it's like scrunched up, then parts of it will still be white, and that's what makes this t-shirt really, really cool. So now I'm just going to unravel it and there will be a lot of white space so you're just going to keep doing that until you have enough of your color and a good amount of white. So now I'm just flipping it over and doing it on the other side. So now you're just going to let your shirt sit out for at least 6 hours or you can do it overnight. So now I'm going to show you how to make these super cute ombre sneakers. You're just going to need a pair of plain white sneakers. I got these from AC Moore for about $6, which is really, really good. And then you're going to take the laces out. So now you're just going to need two buckets or two large containers. You're going to fill them with your dye powder as well as a bunch of warm water. It was an exact measurement, so just add however much. So what you're going to do is dip one half of it into one color and the other half of it into another color and at first the kind of blended color in the middle will be super super harsh and it'll look pretty bad honestly but you're just going to keep doing this over and over again until it's blended really really well and I chose pink and blue so it'll make purple in the center and I love how these turned out. Tonight 
So I've been getting into baseball hats super recently and I decided to make my own because I wanted it to be unique so nobody else would have it. So I picked up this black hat from A. Seymour and then I got these watermelon stickers. At first I thought they were iron-on transfer but actually they were um, just stickers. But they work really well and I really really love this hat. So this is how one of my tie-dye shirts turned out and I absolutely love it. This is a muscle tank so I usually wear either a sports bra or a bandeau underneath this and I think it is super super cute and I could wear this totally to the beach. So you can either leave your t-shirt like this or to make it cuter, you can take a hair elastic or a rubber band and what you're gonna do is make like a little ponytail thingy with the front of it and you're just gonna tie that off and then after that you're gonna take that part of it and make a little knot in the front and it kind of makes it a little bit cropped and a little tighter and yeah, I really like it like this. So I hope you guys liked that video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below. Also comment what videos I should do next and I will see you guys next time. Bye!